Okay, and welcome back. I wanted to take a few moments to talk about the 2010 uh, theme that has replaced Kubrick as the default theme. So uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, so when you install WordPress, uh, you will automatically get the 2010 theme. And uh, there's a few options, uh, mainly f four major options that I want to cover um, into changing just the default theme to look a little bit different. Um, so the first one that we can actually do is the header. And you can see right here, here's the image. If we go back, you can see that's what the image looks like. So we've got uh, eight options to select from as kind of our default images. So if we just make a quick change and, and save it, and then reload the page, you can see we just made a real quick change. Um, or we can upload our own image. Uh, so if we have an, we had an image that is exactly uh, 940 by 198 pixels, we could go ahead and upload that as well. Um, we're just going to go ahead and leave it as the uh, WordPress ink blotch uh, for now. Um, and so that's kind of where that's at. Um, another new feature is the background and so by default you've got just a, a, a blank kind of a, a grayish background uh, but if you want you could select a color so they've got a color wheel, color wheel here so you can go ahead and select a color maybe you want to do see if we're using this maybe like a green or a blue or a kind of a reddish orange color so let's go over here a little bit maybe we'll go for that color so we'll go ahead and change that save it and reload and now we've got that maybe it looks okay uh, maybe we want to change a little bit well we can choose to do that just come in here select a different color maybe you want a little bit lighter save it reload it there you go. So still kind of looks like a word, uh, the default theme, which, okay, that's fine. Um, maybe that's just what we're going for. Um, in a later episode, we'll actually talk about creating a child theme based off of this default theme, um, which is what I did on my site. So if we go to my site here, you can see here's uh, very similar, um, but I've added some different fonts. I've went ahead and changed uh, some colors and uh, did, a, did a few things a little differently there. So um, another feature that we have is the menus. And so with 3.0, we have a new feature uh, that allows us to create all sorts of menus and navigation elements. Uh, well, we can easily create one uh, right now. So let's just go ahead and name this uh, main nav. And we'll go ahead and create that menu. Now, we can put anything we want in this menu, uh, but you'll see over here on theme locations that our theme, uh, the 2010 theme, currently supports one menu. And so we can select which menu uh, we want to use. Uh, since we only have one right now, the main nav is the only one that we could select. Okay, so let's just add some stuff to this uh, navigation. So I've went ahead and already created some pages, and I've also already created uh, some categories. So I'm just going to go ahead and add these two categories up to that menu. And I'm going to add these two pages to the menu. So I've got those. Maybe I want to put them in a little bit order, save the menu, and come back here. And you can see that I've got about in photography. But if I refresh the page, you now see that I've got about a sides gallery in photography. I don't have a home button anymore. Um, you can create a home button, so you could say site.dev, 
and oops, call it home and then just put it back up here save it reload it and then you've got home um, there might be another way um, but I haven't seen a, a, another way to do that yet uh, let's go ahead and create another menu though and we'll call this uh, side menu we'll use this uh, for something in our widgets later um, so maybe we want to add uh, a link to Twitter so this could be anything I mean this could, I mean this could even take the place of your uh, lists um, your links list as well okay um, so I've added Twitter let's go ahead and add Facebook okay and we'll just go ahead and add oops add one uh, to my site and we'll go ahead and save that so now the last thing that we can do is actually go into our widgets uh, and so the uh, this theme actually takes uh, quite a lot of areas um, and so you now have a primary widget area a second widget area area and then you've got four footer areas and so you can see in our primary widget area we have these selected uh, I've just kind of went ahead and put those in there we move down here to the second widget area we can see that we've got some links we might have a tag cloud and we have this extra one called custom menu well if we look over here we can see that we can use this widget to add one of our own custom menus as a widget so uh, I called this pages and we want to use the side menu that we created so it shows up differently and we'll just say uh, links since that's what I created essentially um, so I save that I'm going to go ahead and close that and then I'm going to get rid of this links one because uh, there's no reason to have this if I'm not if I've already used it here so just click this down drag it down to inactive everything saved automatically I don't, there's no save button just like uh, it was previously so let's go back over and refresh and we'll now see that we have links here and those are the links that we created um, now the other thing that I also did was to create uh, or actually put in widgets in these footer areas I just I just went one deep uh, for now um, but maybe I noticed I had uh, the meta which included your login and that kind of stuff well maybe we don't want that on the side we want it in a widget area um, in the footer and so I'm going to put it in at the fourth one and uh, just go ahead and refresh this so now it's actually out of here and it's right over here so now I can go in to access the site admin or or whatever I wanted to do uh, with it great feature um, so that really covers um, most of the theme the the last two things were uh, relating to categories um, and so by default uh, this theme is set up to use two categories one called asides and one called gallery and you actually have to create these categories uh, for it to work but when you put a new post in like uh, this one right here you can see that this is an example of, a, of on the side post so it basically takes off the title just puts whatever your link is um, kind of a um, tumblr type thing so I don't necessarily have to put this in I could say aside post 2 because I think I called it post 1 the last time maybe we just want to say um, thanks or maybe we want to put a link to something right so let's um, let's click on this a second get that open 
So this is a style guide for uh, writing and editing and creating content on the web uh, from Yahoo. So I'm, I want to post this on here. So the link to Yahoo's styling guide and maybe actually uh, let's use the word link as my actual link. Sometimes this takes a second to load up uh, locally. Okay, there we go. Just paste that in, and I always like to have it open in a new window so that you don't leave my site. Maybe we'll just say Yahoo. insert and then we need to just make sure that we use the asides category and we publish now when we refresh the page we get just this little globity do right here and so if we click on it uh, we'll see that this is actually going to open in a new tab because that's the way I had Safari set up um, so that's how that one would go and then if you wanted a gallery post which is the other uh, category that it automatically uses is if I create a gallery post um, on the back end right and so maybe I put some pictures in and, and whatnot um, for the sake of time I'm not gonna try to go in and, and uh, put pictures in so we'll just post that and go here again so here is my text this is a gallery post and then this automatically comes up and there's zero photos now if I were to click on this it would actually go to a single page and it would put the um, galleries uh, or it would put the photos in, in a gallery format on this page so um, those two are there working and uh, that's kind of where uh, the 2010 theme leaves off. Um, everything else is for you to go in and create. And I think uh, we'll see a lot of themes use this as a base uh, theme and create uh, new and, and rich uh, files and, and templates out of it. So thanks for watching. Uh, next video uh, we'll try to cover, or next screencast rather, we'll, we'll cover creating a child theme and going into what I did to take uh, the default uh, site and turn it into uh, what I've got on my blog. Thanks for watching.